Hello, welcome to the Freak Show, Bumpy Mix Squiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Rebuild 3, Gangs of Deadsville. This is episode 15, and, well, we're pretty close to the end of this. There's not much left of the Letty's little area here. We have uh, the Gas Co. now on our side, and things are looking pretty good. Our biggest problem right now is we have literally no building materials. While that's a problem, it's not a tremendously huge problem. Why is it not a tremendously huge problem? Well, it's because we can always trade for more building materials, and I believe it's time for us to do exactly that. So I suppose right now we'll have to wait with them for a little while. However, we do have a few folks who can continue to do murderous things, and I plan to do so. So murderous things will be ours. Alright, looks like she can do something. I guess she could probably come over here and start reclaiming some more of these. That's totally fine with me. And yeah, everybody's doing something right now, and that is the play. Let's go to the next day, ask if they need anything. Food, well, isn't that a bonus? Because we have a lot of that stuff there. Food, oh. But you don't have any of the building materials that we wanted. Alright, well, whatever, man. Go ahead, take it. Where's Gustav? Gustav is a little bit further up. We're going to trade with him. And hope that he gives us something that we need. Alright, we do have five building materials now, though, so that's a good sign. We can reclaim that. And it looks like with our builders here, we can reclaim this. Anyone not doing battle? You're not doing battle. Come over here and take care of that. We'll reclaim that. And then we'll pretty much have unbroken stuff all the way through once we take out this. Oops this, this, and this. Alright, so let's get that handled, if we can. Alright, ask if he needs anything. Uh, materials. Well, we need materials ourselves. There's a hunting rifle, a sword, and no, we don't need any of that. Meh. That is not the play, sir. That is not the play. Alright, we'll take over this. I suppose we'll take peek over here we'll claim this in the name of I don't know Portland I guess it is we'll come down here we'll reclaim that the reclamation is going pretty decently right now and like I said the end is very 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 nearby we're getting really close to this we're chopping wood chopping wood attacking the Luddies as always because we are powerful and able to do that the drive-in was reclaimed chopping more wood suburbs reclaimed he became a devout. Very nice. Uh, they were overrun, lost a field, and materials. Alright. Uh, there's a problem. Aha! I guess we will attack, but we will also end up utilizing a little bit more help here. Alright, well I guess we'll just utilize a little bit more of a little bit more help. There we go. Rufus and a couple of young St. Michael schoolboys came around, wistfully peeking over the walls at our bar. They asked if there was any way they, that we could slip them a beer or six or twelve. They said they'd give us their totally rad bazooka in trade for some. These kids are twelve years old, thirteen at best, far too young to be drinking, right? Though I noticed they aren't too young to have pistols on their hips. Alright, we'll give the boys five booze, yeah. The kids were happy with the mason jars of moonshine we gave them. They're probably going to go down the old rail yard now to drink and throw rocks at Zed. Ah, uh, youth. Rufus turned over the bazooka to us, which turned out to be the name of a 12-year-old bulldog they had found. Okay. The old beast still has a little fight in her, but mostly all she does is sleep, snore loudly, and fart. Well, welcome to the team, bazooka. Welcome to the team. That's kind of funny. Alright, we reclaimed, we reclaimed, we reclaimed, we chopped some wood, there's a dangerous mass of zeds, and more loss on the other side of life. Alright, we're still taking on their defenders right now. That's not necessarily a good or bad thing. And it looks like we don't really have a play yet. I guess we can go and do multiple scouting missions here. And can we, yeah, we can slaughter that, that's not too bad. We can help with that. It looks like they only have one or two things left here. Maybe it's just one? I don't know. It looks like there's two leafs there. I'm not sure why. Ah, eh, we'll see soon enough. Alright, the murder is real. We attacked. Or we scouted, we attacked, and we defeated them. We killed, we killed, we killed, we chopped wood. 
And we did all sorts of other various things, because that's how we roll. I am going to take that out. They are going to go murder this. And can we? Yeah, we can clear this out. Our building materials are a little lackluster right now. We're going to have to reclaim this. Looks like that will be sweet, sweet, nice soon enough. And additionally, why don't you come on down and help me? Good sir. Slowly but surely, we are getting this all under wraps, guys and gals, ladies and gentlemen. The fields are reclaimed. I really wish we were producing more materials right now. I said it. It seems like they don't chop wood very quickly. It's definitely not one per turn. Which is kind of what I was hoping for, but eh, it is what it is. Whatever. You guys just farm for right now. Hey, wait a minute. How is it that we can have more food now than we normally do? We're gonna have 62 out of 100 food. When did that happen, and how did that update? I mean, I'm not complaining, I'm just not really understanding. Yeah, it is simply what it is, I guess. Alright, we're down to the last few uh, places that these guys hold. Actually, this might be the last place. So victory could be ours very, very shortly. We've defeated the Luddies. They were huddling in the field, low on supplies, their last remaining walls thrown together in such a hurry they could barely hold out the undead. But it wasn't Zed who put an end to these people, it was us. What should we do with them? Well, we can invite them to join us. We can kill them all or let them go. We'll invite them to join us. Two Luddy survivors join us. They figure it was either that or die in the jaws of the undead. I've, I'd have made the same choice. They're depressed and it'll take them a while to warm up to the others, but we can always use more zombie fodder. I, I mean able bodies. Ludd and the rest of the Luddies said they'd rather take their chances with the Zed. They took what they could carry and left, promising to leave Portland and never come back. Alright. Zombies killed, zombies killed, zombies killed. Chop wood, wood, wood. Field reclaimed and zombies killed. And I believe, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to pretty much do it. I think we've done it. I think we've achieved a total non-stop victory here. Our onslaught against the Luddies was pretty powerful indeed. And as you saw, it worked out to our advantage. I suppose things could have gone a little bit better. Could have gone a little bit worse. I don't know. But in the end, we were victorious. And that's all that really matters. Alright, next day. And somebody turned an old game store into a brand new church last night. Yes, overnight. All right, so we've read that before. Now that we've allied with St. Michael's, we can uh, we can be sure our place in Portland won't be contested. They've got our backs, and we've got theirs. As the Lone Ranger used to say, my work here is done. Time to gather the posse and move on to the next llama ranch or whatever. Onward down the road to the next town that needs saving. We can start a new mission to leave the city from the city hall. I'll go, and I can take up the three others with me. All right, this time we hopefully won't have the same issues we did before. And that was, um, well, it was quite awful, actually. All right, we're going to send you there to defend. We're going to take you as well with us. Um, I know, I know. It, it's rough stuff. It's rough stuff going, but it's fine. All right, we need to bring Masaru Jones, though, don't we? I mean, I don't feel like scavenging's as important as maybe one of these guys. Maybe we bring Danny Tan. Maybe we should bring Danny Northway because he's, you know, one of the Northways. But again, I don't know. Getting... Uh, this is this is a crappy situation. I think we're going to go with the Builder. We're going to go with Lola Thompson. She's going to be our third and final individual. It is what it is. Alright. You folks, come. Alright. And... Aaron Yeo, Christina Persol, Lola Thompson, and I packed our weapons. Uh, I thought we could have more. Lola, Christina, and Aaron. Oh, I guess that. No, I guess that's it. All right, that's fine. We'll do it this time. We'll do it this time around, guys. I'm sorry. All right, Aaron Yeo, and I. All right. Well, let's continue on. I took one last look at the shining walls and the amazing stuff. Leaving Portland. Portland, rather. Diane. You would have been proud of what we built in Portland. It's a real place to settle and call home now. Not not just for me. Or just not for me. I've got an itchy... 
I've got itchy feet again. I thought he said itchy feeling. I don't know, guys. Reading is tough, guys. It's tough. I can't handle it. I've heard of this place up in Canada, a big lab that was working on a cure for the disease. The town's got a catchy name, Hope. If it's still there, I'd like to find it someday. Alright. Took me 199 days, which is a very, very, very negative score. We had 35 living survivors and two dead ones. Okay, we completed 433 missions, apparently. Sure. Uh, we scavenged 611 stuffs. We killed 1,832 zombies. We allied one faction, we defeated one, and we researched out nine things, and the normal difficulty lowered it by 25%. Still, 20,584. I guess that's okay. We'll continue on, and it looks like we're going to Moses Lake. And again, I don't know how long or far this game goes. Oh, it looks like Hope is up there. We can't go up there? You would think that, like, we would just, like, bloop, and go straight that way, but apparently we're going to have to do something like come down here, Go to here, go up to here, come back down here, then go... I don't know. That's fine, guys. We're heading right in to the urban downtown this time. There should be plenty of plenty to scavenge here, but we'll have to build our own farms. A couple of gangs are fighting over this territory and making life miserable for people who don't want to pick sides. It sounds almost as bad as zombies. I hope we can reason with them. Alright, I'm fine with Moses Lake. We'll stay on normal difficulty, guys. It's fine, and we'll start it up. And here is the new... The Proud. The... I don't know. It's fine. This is the new scenario that we are forced into. And it looks like we got one extra individual here. Jacob Holm Larson. And does anybody have their equipment still? Oh, he's still got his bazooka. That means I still have my minigun. Yeah, alright, that looks pretty sexy to me. Alright, so we're not going to have any food for quite a while. We're going to have to build some farms up. So I think the first play, of course, is going to be going out and killing off some zombies. I mean, that's obviously the first play. So we shall make it so, I guess. And can our builder... No, our builder can't do anything. Well, we do have a farm. Okay, you can come farm for now. Alright, we'll go next day. I'll probably play maybe 5-10 more minutes on this and then we'll break it off, guys. And that will do it for Focus Fridays. Like I said, a little bit more than I was expecting, but I'm definitely not complaining about this at all. This still worked out rather fantastically well, in my opinion, and I'm pretty happy about that. So we're just going to try to spread out and clear as much stuff as we can, getting levels and things of that their nature. We'll take over the bar, we'll reclaim that as quickly as possible. We have to reclaim 25 more buildings, and then whatever else comes our way. Alright, the Zambies are doing things. We're going to, of course, scout out and look around. And see what we can or can't find. It's going to be fine. Everyone is doing something. Okay, with that, there is a mass of Zambies already. A bar was reclaimed, pretty nice. We killed a lot of zombies, too, at least in the previous little bit. Alright, we will reclaim the park next. I'm going to go for the mass of uh, zombie zeddy deddy stuff over there. I'm going to take that on, and I don't know. I guess we can scout out a little bit further. Alright, there's some sort of radio tower there. That's pretty interesting. I don't remember seeing that before. Alright, so we killed the zombies. We spotted some food and all sorts of other various things. We definitely need to get some more survivors. And some more, I don't know, housing, I guess. Alright, we're going to go take a scouting peek over here. We're going to scout out the Mega Mall. Usually there's survivors in big places like that. I found over the course of the dealie. Unfortunately, this is not one of those times where I am accurate in my statement. Looks like you got a level up or two out of that, which is sweet, sweet, nice style. Get you to take that on and take out this. Right, everyone's doing something once again. Very nice. Still can't seem to find any survivors. That's pretty unfortunate. We are slowly reclaiming buildings, which is nice. We will go and continue to search out. It's like there's a place to research over there as well. And again, we'll keep the young lad over here leveling up and gaining some stuff. There's a workshop. Pretty good stuff. So far, not too bad. Another group of uh, Zambies over there, going to be mildly inconvenient and super annoying. 
Again, no survivors spotted. Why is he only 14? Why is he not like where he was supposed to be at before? I feel like he somehow... Hmm. Wasn't he in like 23 or... I mean, how is he only 14 now? I don't... Eh, whatever. It just seems really low. To me, I mean, I could be completely wrong, but it just feels like it's a little low. Alright, we'll scout out the bank, and again, the kid gets to continue on. What's his name? He's got like a really long name, that's fine. Let's continue doing what we do, that's how we roll. I can't believe we still haven't scouted any survivors yet. It's a little bit weird. It's a little strange. Man, like nothing, like literally no survivors. Alright. We'll continue letting you murder fools there. Over here, we'll scout this out. You've already killed off the Zambies. Uh, there's nothing to do over there for you. Guess you come way down here and scout, and that's it. I met a strange dog digging outside the walls today, a handsome German Shepherd with a blue bandana. When I approached him, he gave me a friendly bark, wagged his tail, then barked again like he wanted me to come over. I took... A look at the hole he was digging. Turned out he found a whole bunch of turnip plants we'd never noticed. Alright, I think I'll call him London if, we, London if we ever see him again. That seems to be one of the more common things that happen. That dog's always following us around. Alright, we scouted out some survivors. Very nice. We're going to try to reclaim a survivor or two. And I think we're going to go over there and attack a group of Zedipoos. Over here, take on that, take on that. You come down over here, reclaim that. And, yep, everyone's doing something. A trader named Gustav showed up. Alright, we're all aware of good old Gusty's stuff that he does. And we're still trying to reclaim. We're going to come over to the Mart and we're going to neutralize the Zambies. And we're going to continue to do the same thing in various other places. And hopefully soon we'll have another... Alright. Isn't my leader skills high enough for... Hmm. I could hear these two fighting from a block away. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, so Max Rogers is a scavenger or Ken is an engineer. I'm going to take... Mm, I'm going to take Ken. Alright, good riddance, I hope you find someone who can tolerate you, you petty bastard. That seems weird, shouldn't my leadership skill be higher? You're level 5, isn't that what I needed? Hmm. Well, I don't know, I think I'm going to bartend for a while, maybe I can get my leadership skill up a little bit higher, we'll see. Alright, so we have him, he... we need to claim this place. So we're going to actually start heading toward that to take that over. We're going to go here. You guys are all doing whatever it is that you're all doing. That's fine. We'll kill off some more zombies, And I suppose you can just farm up some more food for now. We'll probably have to start rebuilding certain things and whatnot. But eh, it's fine. And McNoodles was reclaimed. I'm okay with that. You know what? Forget it. We're going to go and get ourselves another... Oh, we don't have enough housing Okay, well, I don't believe this building actually offers us anything. Let's see here. I'm not, I'm not a police station. Let's just... here. Spend our lives here. The office is chained to desks. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, we're going to rebuild this into a house. Or an apartment, as it were. And hope that is a good call. We shall see. No murdering there. We come over here. It looks like the kid can go and that's a bit too far out. Go there and take that. We come down here and take this. And soon things will be looking up for us in theory. The zombies are all dying off and getting killed. When Lola said we could make better use of the old McNoodles, I just blew her off. Oh, sweet. She just built us a laboratory. That is super dead sexy. Thank you for that, Lola. Thank you so very much. Alright, survivor management, that is going to be sweet, sweet, nice style. And once this is done, we'll be pretty darn happy. Uh, let's get you to come over here and murder this. 
Oh, uh, what can you do? You can come down here and kill the police station stuff. We're out of bullets right now. That's kind of a problem. That's why Aaron Yeo, while he's got all the stuff, he can't use it and he's not gaining anything from it. That's why most of our folks are actually a little bit weak right now. It's okay. We'll, we'll figure it all out soon enough, guys. Don't worry. It'll all come together. The church has been reclaimed. Very nice. And at this point, where's that workshop at? I know I saw one. Hmm. So let's you preach for a couple seconds here. I could have sworn I saw a workshop. Where was it? There's a coffee place. Oh, the workshop's right there. Alright. I'm fine, guys. I'm fine. You. Get over there. Kill the eight zombies with the help of uh, my gal pal there. You guys have reclaimed. I like that quite a bit. Going to head, I guess, over here to take on that. And if we're going to take that out, we need to go over here to the, the mini mart or whatever it is and reclaim that. And actually, I should be reclaiming this person's soul. Bringing them over onto our side of the ledger here. It's okay. Alright, we're going to try and kill this off. And we're going to end our turn. Nothing really doing there, but it is a clear shot to that. We're going to scout from there. And I guess you're going to have to continue to build up your power. You need it to be more powerful. It's going to be fine. Alright, we're going to go down there and scout it out. More zombies killed. 19 more buildings to reclaim. And it looks like... Ah, oh, we're still only level 6. Alright, well, we've never eaten people, so I guess that's fine, too. Um, the rumors that we are a bunch of filthy cannibals. Well, we've never eaten people, so that's good. Alright, so they are going to join us, and they are both leaders, which... Not exactly what I was expecting, but that works out quite okay. Just gonna defend that for now. We'll send you into the church to do church going things and we're going to continue to scout out a little bit further and a little bit further and a little bit further we're going to do some murder with you some deep murder with you and some more close range murder with you and I think that's okay and just a couple more turns guys and this is going to be all over so the all mart was there we did what we could because we can and because we care because it's the code of the... No, it's fine, guys. Alright, we're going to come down here, reclaim this. I don't know, we'll come shoot some stuff up over there. It's going to be fine. I want to take this over. Oh, we are totally out of food. That's probably not great. Where's Gustav? Gustav is gone. Alright, well, we definitely need to build some more farms up, so... Maybe that's going to be more critically important than not doing that. Um... Or we can scavenge for food. Uh, I think I think reclaiming is going to be the play for now. I think scavenging might be okay if we do it with him. And but we really really need food. We're we're losing six per day. We just we don't have any food. It's not great. And we don't have a lot of stuff to trade either. We've spread out pretty quickly, but didn't accomplish a whole heck of a lot. In fact, I think we're going to even fall back at this point and maybe hunt for some extra food here. We're going to have to do something. Food's still on the decline. Mm -hmm. That's not great. Alright, well, I guess we'll research out something there. What are we on? Still 3.5 per... That's not good. The people are going to be pretty unhappy. Alright, the research management, we've seen this before, guys. And it does look like we're in a little bit of a problematic situation, but we might be able to pull it out. Oh, might be able to pull it out. Where is... There we are. We found medicine a little tiny bit of food. We're going to have to take that out. And despite our best hopes there, it's not looking super good for us. Alright, what can we possibly do... Extra food from farms. All right, that's what we're gonna have to do. We need to start building up some extra farms too. And maybe taking the bank over or something. Eh, we'll see. We'll see. All right, this is gonna be the last turn. Ooh, starvation is too weak to continue hunting and 
Huh. And I'm not sure he should even be allowed, allowed out of bed. Uh, we found him leaning against the wall this morning, staring through a crack at the zombies on the other side. He said he'd watch them eat a live rabbit they'd caught and wondered if they might let him share some of the next one. Well, that's not great. All right, we are definitely starving to death. Gustav is over there. Again, we have nothing to really trade right now, so that's not super fantastic for us. All right, we're going to have to send... I'm going to have to send Peter over there to actually do the trade, which means I need to get you over here actually farming. And with finality, we need to send you over here to help kill that off. I mean, it's not looking good, guys. It's not looking good. Either way, that's pretty much going to do it. Well, I guess next week we'll continue on, and hopefully I can salvage our crappy little situation here. Having a scavenger or two would help quite tremendously, but not having it, eh, there's not much we can do about it. Anyway, guys, until next week, that's going to do it for this week's Focus Friday. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share it. And I will see you guys next time with more Rebuild 3 Gangs of Deadsville. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.